Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's been quite a while. Unfortunately, life happens and we have other responsibilities. So today we're gonna be changing the auto CV on this car. Um, the way to differentiate between an auto CV and inner CV fault is if you're driving on a straight line and you are ticking sound or clicking sound, that's most probably your inner CVs. But if you turn your steering full lock to your right or left and you are clicking sound whilst making a turn, that's your auto CV. So in this instance, it's the passenger side auto CV. Uh, the first step is to get yourself a 32 mm socket and a breaker bar and loosen the nut, the dog nut in here. So let's do that. Alright guys, I have loosened it off camera. So there you go. So once that's done, the next step is to uh, jack up your car and take out your wheels. So let's let's do that. Alright guys, so wheel is off. So what, what I'm gonna do here is at the back you can see that nut that's not in bolt here it's holding the ball joint in place it's the number 17 on both sides so you're going to loosen that that nut and that basically goes straight the ball joint has a little notch in it that nut goes also the ball goes through and holds uh, into the notch on the ball joint so we can open loosen the 17 where you loosened it okay let's see Take that out. There we go. Let's pull it out on this side. Okay, there we go. It's 17 is out. Um, then what I'm going to do is up here on the shock top, I'm going to loosen these two 13s. Um, so that's it. what that's going to allow me to do is move this strut. So when I take out this 32, the CV is going to be loose. I'm going to lift this. Um, stub axle off the ball joint, pull it forward so by loosening those two nuts on top this will actually give me play, allow me to, to move it even with it tight, it will, will, will allow me to move it, but this is better in that way, um, I'm not actually working with these two shock balls um, therefore I will not be adjusting my camber and my alignment will not go off, I just did alignment on this car anyway so Let's, let's take out the 32 first. It's already loose. There we go. Next is step. Okay guys, so what you need to do is you need to put something in between here and pry this off the wishbone itself. Let me do that. Alright guys, I'm using my breaker bar. Put it in there. There's the ball joint, and there's a little notch that I was chatting about earlier. So now, she will pull this out. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm going to need to answer this, but you can see the CV is already pulling out. So I need to push the CV back as I'm pulling this forward. Let me do it, get that done. Alright guys. You can see the CV is out. Um, the inner CV is still connected. The proper way to actually do this is to, to loosen out the inner CV. The bolts can't really see them at the moment. There's bolts all around the inner CV. Um, let's see if I can focus. Yeah. No, not really. Anyway, you need to open up those bolts and take this entire shaft out. But I'm going to try back at method and try and knock this out while still in place. I'm not sure if it's going to work. The possibility is I'm going to damage in the CV because in the CV has a little circlip that holds the shaft in place. So guys, let me give it a, a shot and if it works, I'll let you guys know. Alright guys, I kind of surprised myself. I think it actually worked. So what I did was I got myself a day two spinner which fits over there over the back place that there and then I use this focus I use the hammer and whack it right down there couple of caps and then 
finally pulled the sleeve back and I hit directly there and it started coming out. Let's see if we can get it all the way out. Keep moving. There we go. Let's see it out. Um right guys, let's get the new C V. Alright guys, so I've got the new C V. I've packed it with grease. I've used this castrol MS grease. So once that's packed, um I've already replaced the C V boot last time around, so I'm not putting a new boot. Uh you just need to line up the spline in there and just tap it in with a hammer. Let's see if we can get that done. Alright guys, so when tapping this in, it's advised to put this nut in so you don't damage the threads. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Okay guys, so you get the gist of it, hold it up, tap it in, take this board, put it over and put the clamp on. Let's do all of that. Alright guys, clip is on. So now all you need to do is pull this forward, turn the an angle, push it in, push the center through this hole. The kit comes with a new nut and washer in here, which I will use. And then once all of that is in, um, we just do the reverse. We take this way on top of the ball joint which is there put the 17 nut and bolt in uh, 32 more bolt the dog nut and then we tighten two 13s on top and that should be it so didn't seem too difficult I um, know this is not the proper way of doing it but uh, yeah it worked for me so good luck guys thanks cheers bye alright guys everything's back on so let's do a full swing to the left Okay guys, here we have one of our subscribers that sent me a message along with his uh, photos and his message reads Hi everybody, I'm Jean-Dre from Nam Namibia and my bolt is a 2002 Club, Cad Club Caddy carbureted 1.6 mh engine so he had issues with the fueling and decided to put a Jetta 3 2E engine with a standard dictator management um, he was planning on doing a wire tuck and he was looking on YouTube for videos and he found Bolt MK1 and he states uh, I got on with it and the videos on the channel were very detailed and insightful I also remember chatting uh, he remembers chatting to me on email and he states uh, that I never hesitated to assist or advise uh, and he'd like to give me a shout out thanks for that and he plans on upgrading to um, 12 inch electric fans and a radiator with a water bottle also plans on doing a break, uh, break booster delete. Uh, he also at some point wants to do a Mark 4 cross low head with ITBs. Thank you very much Andre for dropping the message and for those kind of words. Look forward to seeing progress on your bolt. And guys, uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to share your ride, uh, 
please send me an email at boltmk1 at yahoo.com. Okay, guys, uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, keep safe and till the next video. Cheers. Huh?